everybody, I am Miss Horsefield and I'm going to be your teacher when you start school in reception and I cannot wait. Today I'm going to share a story with you. This story is called The Dot and I really like this story because it's all about not giving up and keeping on trying. Let's find out what happens. The art class was over but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a felt tip pen and gave the paper a good, strong dab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Sign it means write your name. Ashley thought for a moment. Hmm, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. There she is, writing her name. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above the teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I can make a better dot than that! She opened her never before used set of watercolours, which, which is paint, and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colours. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colours with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At school, the art show, a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Look how busy she's been. All those wonderful dots. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her, which means looking. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me, me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Oh dear. What do you think Vashti's going to do? Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. He's trying really hard. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Sign it! So it looks like Vashti's going to help that little boy as well. So when you feel that something's really, really tricky, we've always got to keep trying and never give up. And then we'll find that we're actually really good at it if we keep practicing. Thank you for listening, everybody. Bye.